Bitcoin whales are ditching the foaming and slowing down in accumulation. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, of course, looking at the whales, what are they doing at the now? Also looking at some other charts and yes, of course, other news and the inspirational quote at the end. So let's quickly jump now first into that news because it's very important news that I just read, guys. At the moment, the whales are slowing down in accumulation. In January, the change of the Bitcoin whales wallet addresses increased with 6%. At the moment, it's only 1%. So from 6% change in those wallets of those whales to 1% at the moment. In history, guys, always when the whales wallets increased with 3%, 3% was the magic number. That was the moment that the Bitcoin price started to increase. So 1% is not enough. 6% is stop. We also saw the Bitcoin price rising quickly at that moment. Now we are at 1%. We at least need to be at 3% change of the Bitcoin whales wallet every month to see the Bitcoin price going up again. So that's the moment that we are waiting for now. At the moment it's 1%. Let's hope that the whales start accumulating a little bit more again from the mid of September till the beginning of October. I expect it to happen and I expect that the monthly change of the Bitcoin wallets of those whales will be 3% plus and that will mean October, November, December will be more positive months for Bitcoin again. Like I said, August and September are pretty, pretty boring summer months. Always, if you compare it to all those months in history, these were the worst months of each and every year. October, November, December, the most positive months. So let's hope those whales will start to accumulate as quick as possible again. And yes, the whales are wallets that hold more than 1,000 Bitcoins. So let me know if you're a whale, comment down below. Despite the slower overall growth, guys, the permanent hodlers, the people like you and me, people that are in this industry for a long time and hodling their Bitcoins long time, they have been growing with an unprecedented growth never seen before. At the moment with a growth of 391,000 Bitcoins per month. That's a huge demand by real OG permanent hodlers that really hold Bitcoin for a longer term. And the demand of these permanent hodlers is even growing faster at the moment than we were growing in Q1 2024 when we reached 70k plus price of Bitcoin. Now even more is being accumulated by those hodlers, those permanent hodlers, those OG hodlers than there was in 2024, January, February, March, guys. So yes, that's very positive. More and more people understand the long-term view of Bitcoin. More and more people start to accumulate Bitcoin for the long term. So that's a big thumbs up for all those permanent hodlers and also, of course, of the whales because they will start accumulating again very soon, guys. So this is a very important bullish sign that those permanent holders are accumulating. They still trust in Bitcoin. The retail still needs to step in and maybe all those spot ETFs, etc., also need to start to accumulate a little bit more. But the whales and the permanent holders are still increasing the amount of Bitcoins in their wallets. Very positive for that last part of the bull market. This will lead to an insane pump in 2025. Now let's see guys how this all reflects onto the charts. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. This is the first chart for today, guys. This is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see the sideways movement already since the 8th of August going sideways here between this green line, which is around 56,400, and this yellow line over there, which is around 63,000. Um, of course, it's becoming smaller and smaller movement. The Bollinger Band is becoming tighter and tighter, and we all know what will happen when the Bollinger Band becomes really tight. When it becomes really tight, we will break out. We hopefully break out to the top guys, that would be the perfect uh, situation, a scenario to go to 63 and then even 65k. If not, we will retest again the 56k guys on the short term, amazing time to trade. Let's check how this indicator package uh, shows you when to buy, when to sell, when to buy, when to sell, buy, sell, buy and sell guys. Amazing, you can find more information on thebitcoinfamily.com. If we zoom out to the daily chart, we can see this one and we can see that we are fighting that green line. Now I will double click that green line so you can see this is the 50 daily moving average guys and uh, the source is when the candles are being closed. So we can see we have troubles breaking that green line. So every time we wick against it, you can see we are fighting it. So this is the resistance line at the moment. The moment we break that green line level, that is at 61,293, that's the moment we will go and hunt 
for that red line, 62K, and then the yellow line, 63K. But we need to make sure we get above this green line as soon as possible. MACD looking positive. We had a bullish cross over here, blue above that red now. We touched the yellow line, as you can see here on the bottom. I always told you when we touched the yellow line, when the RSI goes down below the 30 level and goes up again, that's very positive. But now the positive part needs to be changed into bullishness, breaking that green line, red line, and yellow line, taking it all the way above 63K, that would be perfect. But I have some amazing other charts that will show you even better where we are at the moment with Bitcoin, guys. Now, that first chart that I want to show you is this one. Now, this chart is a very important chart to understand. 80% of the short-term holders are holding coins below their cost base. They make panic sell during volatility, which means 80% of the short-term holders are in loss. In total, that's 4.3 million Bitcoins, and in loss are 3.45 million Bitcoins. So these people are all freaking out. They are in loss. If the Bitcoin price would drop further, they will probably sell in loss because they have weak hands. This is not a strong hands. They should be dollar cost averaging into the Bitcoin price, but probably they will be selling. So a short term holder represents coins held for less than 155 days. So this supply is statistically the most likely to respond to volatility. So 80% of those people are in loss, which is not positive because if we drop, they will be freaking out and they will make sure the Bitcoin price drops even further. So this is the first chart. Now the second chart I want to share with you is this one. This one is showing you the Bitcoin cycles. Every time the same play. 2011-12, check how it went. First stop, then then bear market, then we went sideways after the halving, bam. The banana zone, they call it over here because we go up like a banana. 2014-16, you know the top, the bear market, there, sideways movements after the halving in 2016, bam, banana zone. 2019-20, same thing again, over here at the top, over here the bear market, you know this was that COVID crash, sideways movements, and then in 2020, banana zone all the way into 2021. Now, 2022-24. Double top of 2021, bear market, slowly going up. Here we went up a little bit faster than normally and during the halving, but we reached an all-time high before the halving, normally not after the halving, so we are front running the cycle. But still, after this, we will again experience a banana zone all the way into 2025. I can't make it more clear than with these charts. And every time in this period over there, people start to doubt. Here, they were doubting, ah, this will be the top, let's sell. Here, they were doubting, ah, this is the top, let's sell. Here, they were doubting. And now, people are doubting again. They think that the bull market is over. They are going to sell and lose those weekends, and they're going to miss out on this massive run over there, guys. Amazing chart. Now, one more chart, a very important one. This is the Bitcoin 200 week moving average. And I just want to show you that every time, it's the same. Bear market bottom times four is in this area where we go sideways and it's just before we have this huge massive run. Everyone, bear market bottom times four is where we go sideways and after that huge run. Here again, bear market bottom, this one was like around 16k times four, just calculate, so that's around 70k over here and from there again we will go into that massive run. Every time it's the same situation. From the bear market, times four is a difficult area to break through. But when we break through, bam, massive run. Here, bear market bottom, 3K, times four, 12K area, difficult period. But when we broke it, bam, all the way up to 70K. Same is gonna happen again, guys. Same is gonna happen again. 16 times four is 64k we are now around that level it's difficult to break it but when we break it bam we will go into that massive run above 100k probably somewhere to between 120 to 160 if it is up to me if it is up to other models we will even go to 500k guys that would be really positive but please understand these cycles it's simple please understand this cycle
I hope you really enjoyed all of those charts, guys. Yes, those charts are showing you short-term beautiful volatility. Again, amazing trading setups over there for the traders. For all of you that are referring to themselves as investors, don't freak out about those five-minute charts, those four-hour charts, those day charts. Zoom out. Look at the weekly chart. Look at the monthly chart. That's what you do as an investor. And then you will understand that this moment is still an amazing moment to accumulate Bitcoin around 60,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Before you know it, we will be back at 70K, 80K, 90K, and then we will surpass the 100K for the first time in Bitcoin's history, probably in 2025. But there is always a small, small chance that it could happen in 2024 as well. So buying now is still, in my honest opinion, a very good idea. I am a risk taker. I know that you know that I'm a risk taker, but for me, this doesn't sound risky at all, guys. We are going towards the end of 2024. This is the same period as the end of 2020, when the Bitcoin price started to go up beautifully. And then the bull market top was there in 2021. Now 2024, the Bitcoin price will increase slowly but beautifully in the end of this year. And in 2025, we will again see a beautiful bull market top. If you would see that bull market top in 2024, I will tell you as well, because I keep an eye on all the indicators that are predicting that the top is in. When that top is in, I will definitely share it in my channel over here. So you need to sign up to this channel to be notified when the top is in. And then you can take your profits and buy back at the bear market bottom. Let's jump into the last part of the video. The last part of the video, guys, of course, the inspirational part, the inspirational part for today. Go where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. There's a huge difference between being celebrated or tolerated. Many people keep running the hamster wheel, keep running the circle among people that tolerate them. That's not the right thing to do. You need to go towards those people that are celebrating you, that are pushing you to higher levels, that are celebrating your success with you, that don't envy you, but that want you to succeed, to become better. Because as a collective, we can change the world, not as an individual. So you need to surround yourself with those people that are celebrating you, not that are tolerating you. They will never help you with that last push to success or to happiness. They will just envy you, tolerate you as the way you are, but they will never support you to the fullest. It's like being married to a wife that tolerates you or a wife that really respects you and celebrates you. The one that tolerates you will be like a dead horse pulling you backwards in your success. The one that celebrates you will push you towards success, will support you towards success, will support all those crazy ideas because she's celebrating all your successes. She doesn't envy you, she celebrates you. And that is the case for all the friends, all the family around you. If you are just being tolerated in the Netherlands among your friends, you know, those people you feel safe among, that is not the thing that you should be doing. You should be moving, for example, to a beautiful community on Phuket where the people really don't envy you, but they want to support you. They celebrate your success and they want to push you further. They are not those people that live on this small island for completely themselves and just focus on themselves. They focus on the success of the community. They focus on the success of a collective that wants to change the world. So always focus on those people that are celebrating you, not those that are tolerating you. Huge difference. That's the inspirational quote for today. Please focus on that and please reflect to yourself in which kind of community are you at the moment? Are you surrounded by people that are tolerating you or are you surrounded with those people that are celebrating you? Let me know down below in the comments what you think about that. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed today's short video. Sorry I wasn't there yesterday. I am uh, doing a lot of pedal games, pedal training and all that stuff. So sometimes I don't have the time to make a video anymore. Uh, but I will try to make a daily video, of course. And also a live in the weekend again. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And let me know down in the comments what you want me to talk about in the next video. I want to integrate again a question of one of the followers into the next video. Video. So yes, let me know what do you want to know. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.